Hello and welcome today to the series of short interviews for Women's Day conducted jointly by Maritime CEO and Vista International. I'm Sanjam Gupta and with me today is Lovely, a third officer sailing with the Synergy Group. Welcome Lovely and thank you for joining us. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Hi, good afternoon. I'm third officer, Lovely. I'm on board Nord Hammock, a tanker vessel of Northern Synergy, and we are uh, in North Atlantic bound for New York. Wonderful. And tell us something, what made you join this profession? What attracted you to seafaring? At first, I would say that I love the sea. I love water. So that is one of the reasons I, I would like to go sailing. And secondly is both of my parents' family or my extended family has both seafarers on each side. So that's really attracts me aside from saying now that I really love to travel a lot. So working and traveling in one work is very much a good thing for me. Wonderful. I can see that you're very passionate about the sea and uh, that's something that I love myself. Uh, even though I haven't sailed, my father is also a master mariner, so I can really relate to that passion being carried forward in the next generation. Yeah. And um, tell us, lovely, when you're sailing on board, what, what, what is it that you love most about your job? What part of it is it, is it that you like most? Uh, I love the most is the job itself, um, being challenged by all the maintenance for the inspections, the job, it's, the job itself, it's the, it's the one that I really love aside from traveling. Traveling is just an additional pleasure for me because I can see some different cultures when we are in port. But having challenging myself on this profession that I have because being a woman is the one or the biggest challenge to be on the, in this dominant uh, male industry in the maritime world. So challenging and pushing myself to the limit is the one that I really love for from this job because I can see how how or where is the limit that I have. All right and um, how has the crew change crisis impacted you? Were you on board when it happened and what has been your experience and how do you think this would impact uh, the young seafarers? Um, the time that I got on board, it's already on crisis or we already have this COVID crisis. I joined last year, June 2020. At first, it's really hard because you have additional requirements, the COVID testing, the quarantines. And during the travel, it's also scary since it's all over the world or worldwide crisis now. Actually, I'm about for eight months now on board and it's already due my contract and I was extended, but it's very much understandable since this is the crisis that we are facing. I have to be also flexible about it since it's not the vessel's failure or the office failure, it's the worldwide uh, crisis or a problem. So it is very much understandable for me to extend this crisis really doesn't affect the passion of our younger generation for being, uh, for having this career or profession to be. It's not, it will pass eventually. We will eventually pass this crisis and we'll be going back to normal. So this COVID-19 or the crisis that we had, it is not a problem for our youngster to go forward for this career path that they have chosen. That's a very mature and sensible view, lovely. And yes. uh, I'm sure that I, I can see that you're very calm and very composed and uh, a lot of respect to you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, to end the interview, we would just like to have a short message from you. What inspiring message would you like to send out to all the young women out there would want to make seafaring a profession for themselves. All right. I was a youngster before, so I know the hardship that you will be facing. Not all, but I have an idea of it. Um, after the academic, this is all. This is just the start of everything. 
remember that you are a woman and you will be on a male dominating mar uh, marine industry. So first is you have to be understandable and you have to adopt this male culture that we are having in this industry. And don't be afraid to begin or to try. It is better to begin than to quit immediately even though you haven't done anything yet. So just strive hard. This crisis that we are facing, it may sound like a crisis, but it doesn't really be an uh, doesn't really affect the your your passion for being a seafarer. If you want to be like me, a young third officer on board, you can do it. I can do it. So so as you. So there is nothing to be afraid of. Just be you and strive for everything that you wanted. So this striving or this passion that you have now is making you happy or the decision that you have made to be to challenge yourself or to be a seafarer one day. This is your passion. This is your happiness. So you have to grow up on it and just keep going and keep striving. Then if there's anything that bothers you or discourage you find again that reason why you chose to be on this profession that you are now so if there's a million reasons to give up there is one reason to stay so i'll be ending my advice to you or my my encouraging to you by saying that don't quit this is just a start. One thing worse than quitting is afraid to begin. So let's begin your journey now. That was very <laughs> motivational, very inspiring, lovely. Thank you so much. Beautifully put. And I'm sure a lot of young girls will be inspired by hearing you. All the best. Stay safe. And let's stay in touch. Yes, thank you very much for this opportunity for me to share being a woman on board or seafarer and this is a great also uh, help for me to let the uh, young our youngster to be inspired and i'm very much grateful to be a part of this campaign that we are thank you so much lovely goodbye and safe travels thank you have a safe trip too bye, -bye.